Uh, you like to eavesdrop? Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. Ha, 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 and what news do you bring, my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis Homo Mendax. <laughs> Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> More's Ultima Ratio.
How's it going? Kate, okay, yes. What am I doing here? <sighs> it's a long story. Are we going yet? Can you walk? <sighs> I'd like to, but... <sighs> Don't move, Hans. I'm going to find a way to get us out of here.
Kate Walker. Let's go. Yes, Kate Walker. We must be quick. Some ride, huh, Hans? Yes, it was real fun, Kate Walker. Really. Hans? Mm hmm? Are you okay, Hans? Mm -hmm. It's going to be fine, Kate. I'm just a little weary. I hope this old patriarch is finally understood. The patriarch has a very closed mind. To put it mildly, the guy's a fanatic. Hans, do you think we can carry on with our journey? There's just a spot of work I haven't finished. You'll have to help me, Kate. Of course. What can I do for you? Tell me. I have repaired the clockwork heart for the horses, but I'm too tired, too weak. Can you go to the cabaret and fit it instead of me, Kate? It's all right. I'll go. Don't worry. Get some rest. Now jump! Jump! Right! Now jump! Jump! Right! Now jump! Jump! Dang! Get out of my sight before I stuff you in the oven, you dumb goop! Hi, Mr. Sirkos. Ah, how do, Miss Walker? Mr. Sirkos, I wanted to give you news of Hans before we leave. So, did the old patriarch make him well again? <sighs> Truth be known, I'm not too sure. Is he better, or is he better? Well, he's not firing rockets, but seems like he wants to keep on traveling. You'll wish him all the best from me now, won't you, Miss Walker? You can count on it. When I came in, it looked like you were really angry with that strange, uh, dog thing. Dog? If only it were. That's a Yuki, Miss Walker. You call Eskimos domesticated them. You call makes Yuki. Get it? A Yuki? Now, don't be fooled by appearances, ma'am. What might look like a dog ain't necessarily dog. It's a kind of cross seal and bear, with a big dose of pig, too, especially the appetite. And you want to teach it a few circus tricks? 
Believe me, Miss Walker, I have tried. Yes, I have. But strive as he might, civilized man will never squeeze anything resembling brains from this bag of swill. The animal just don't want to be tamed. Only thing it thinks of is its belly. Mr. Sirkos, I wanted to thank you for your hospitality. Soon we'll be leaving Romansburg. It's a mighty shame, Miss Walker. You're going to miss my mechanical stallions riding up. Shows start as soon as I get those wind-up nags to buck. <laughs> I'll catch it some other time. So those horses don't work? I asked Mr. Vorlberg to have a look at them, but then he had that horrible fit like you saw. Fever, delirium, stopped him finishing the job. Maybe you know a thing or two about tinkering, Miss Walker? Well, I'm not Hans Vorlberg, but I can always try. Mr. Sirkos, Hans asked me to come to help you repair your fairground horses. Oh, that's great news! I'm mighty grateful, Miss Walker. Your wind-up horses have got a problem. There's an important part missing. But I'm going to try to install it, if you don't mind, Mr. Sirkos. Ah! You are! You're going to save my life, Miss Walker! I think I can fix your horses, Mr. Sirkos. Please, be my guest, Miss Walker. Grateful wouldn't be the word. I've got to go, Mr. Sirkos. Godspeed, Miss Walker. <laughs>